Hello, um, sorry about this, it's just been brought to my attention that I actually missed one, a page recording. So here it is, this is the cart.php, and I'm not going to type it all out because I've got all the code here, so that's pointless, I'll just run through it all and tell you what's what. So first of all, the first line is just simple open PHP tags, and then we go to an if is set, post, submit. So what this does is it checks if we've submitted the form, then it'll go, and then it runs a for each, which is a, um, which checks all the post, and it checks it, gives it as a key, which we equal value, and the key equals an exploded fun uh, using the exploded function, we'll um, eliminate a hyphen because it sets, it's set up like this, or something like that, so it'll eliminate the hyphen, and give us anything that's after the, the uh, after the hyphen. So we'll get the value two there. And then what we do is we'll end that function. We'll use the end function, which will just create that into an array. And then we'll do explode on submit. So because we would have something like this. Wait. And basically, what we're doing is we're getting rid of that. And so we just have these key uh, keys left, and then what we're doing is we're going if and um, post quantity hyphen, and then we're concatenating the key onto it, so it will be quantity two or four or whatever number you have is equal to zero. Um, then we go and unset the uh, session. And if it's not equal to zero, so if it's equal to anything above zero, or negative actually, I think as well, then it will also, it will um, do this uh, by setting a session cart and then key and quantity. And it might also be worth doing. It's not equal to zero. And equal to um oh, oh, which way is it? I'm not sure if it's that way, so I'll just pause the video and check. Right, okay, um to, uh, what you do is you set it to less than less than sign equal and then zero. And what that does is I'll just show you things. Um add those three items to it. If I set this one to zero this one to minus five and that one to positive five. You'll see that those two, the two which were zero or below, are now unset. And if for whatever reason you wanted to make it um, greater than or equal to 50 for example, so you had maximum amount that you could order. Then, oh wait a second, I'll keep that as less than or equal to zero. Um, else if, and that is post quantity. To make it to 50, and then I want to make the session equal to 15. And now, if we refresh this, hmm, final level. Concatenation that should fix that one. Yeah. So if I did something like 52, then the maximum I could have was only 50. And then, so, but the others two still work. So minus 50, 521 now, and that will move that as well. So that's a 
quick little insight into that one as well. That's something which I didn't have before, but I decided it could become useful. If not, then all you have to do is simply um, delete that block of code, which I've just highlighted there. Okay, now carrying on, we've got to this ever reporting bit, which isn't actually needed. I'll show you if I just comment that out for a second. This page doesn't actually give any errors. The only reason I've done this is because um, to make it an XHTML valid, it's for some reason I need to put that in. Um, otherwise, it does a for each error, which I'm not sure why, but it does. So that's just how it has to be, I suppose. Um, and then we've got a header one or H1, which you should know what that is by now. Um, we've got an anchor with a link, which is um, index.php question mark page equals products with a title of go to products page and what the title does is basically when you hover over it you can, you can see the little box that appears that says go back to type, uh, product, uh, products page basically it's just that that's not needed but I believe it's needed for XHTML uh, for it to be valid so put that there then we've got this SQL which is uh, select all from products where ID products in and then uh, we've got a for each loop which is just um, making sure that the very last uh, comma no, but after each ID will give us a comma so that then the uh, query doesn't fail and then the substring gets rid of the last comma so it doesn't fail and then it orders it by name ascending we could change that to ID products if we wanted to. So, um, oh, go to cart, and you'll see uh, that one there will be ID one. Give me a second. There. Hmm. That doesn't seem to be working. Um, wait, I might be looking at the wrong thing. Just see what we've used to order. Let's see. Um, no, that doesn't seem to change order. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Order it by name. Um, that's what we need. Um, then underneath we've got the. Uh, we're just running that query. And that's basic stuff again. And then we're doing an if empty. This this is what gets rid of the little error messages. I think I've covered this a little bit in um, an extra tutorial, so I'll quickly go over that. If empty, if the query fails, basically, then we'll echo this up to the stage. If not, which is after, oops, then it will create a post um, a, no, a form with the action of index.php question mark page equals cart. And then we'll take a bit of field set so it's valid um, HTML. And then we've got created a table with uh, table headers, which has got four table headers. And then we're doing an SQL query again. Um, and from there, we're going to uh, total, we're going to work out the total price as being automatically set to zero. And if the query isn't empty, so if it has some values in it, then it prints out this bit, which you can see, these bits. Um, that's basically, so if we set both of this to zero, the query's got nothing to run, but it doesn't post any data there because that will give us an error. And it also, it posts that up there. Um, so we close that area, then we come down here, we open up a table row with some table cells um, with a total price and then we work out the entire total price which is calculated using uh, total price is um, total price plus subtotal on the while loop so each of these subtotals will get added together to give us a total price and then we close the table and we create a submit form which is a type submit, name submit, and value of update cart. And we end the field set, end the form, and 
I'll just give a little notice saying to remove an item, set quality, uh, quantity to zero. So that's how you create the uh, chart page. I hope you learned something, and sorry I forgot to post this earlier. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.